In Matthew 28, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So you go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teach them to observe all that I've commanded you. This commission that Jesus gave his disciples has gripped my heart for years. Because the thing is, the missional church that Jesus describes here cannot be trapped within four walls. The missional church is a do-something church, a church that is so moved by compassion and so full of the love of Jesus that it cannot help but bless and serve the community that surrounds it. After years of praying for a permanent space in Chula Vista, we have finally found our new campus home. And this campus is gonna have four walls, yes. It's gonna be a place for people to gather and worship and to fellowship with one another. But this is also gonna be a church without walls, a church that engages the surrounding community and establishes pervasive hope on every street and every corner. Jesus deeply loves the people of Chula Vista and beyond, and we plan to relentlessly serve them as he would. 3.5 billion. According to a recent report, this is the number of searches performed on Google every single day. But here's a statistic that is even more interesting to me. During 2020, Google searches that began with the word why were higher than ever before. And this really makes sense. After a year of intense disruption, isolation, and anxiety, it's no surprise that people are scrolling, swiping, Googling, and trying to find meaning in the midst of all the chaos. And they're going to culture and to the digital world to find these answers. It's important for us to recognize that people are being shaped, formed, and even discipled by the stories that culture is telling them. This is a moment of profound opportunity, an opportunity to present people with a better story and to slice through the predominant cultural narrative with the truth of the Word of God. In 2020, we saw over 360,000 decisions for Christ online and were able to offer gospel presentations in English and Spanish to over 15 million people. We also launched Rock Your City last year, a broadcast in partnership with Fox 5 here in San Diego that highlights Rock Church's Do Something initiatives throughout the county. And in 2021, we are averaging over 250,000 people each week watching our Sunday services online. Jesus told his disciples that they were to be his witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And in this digital age, the ends of the earth are more accessible to us than ever before. 20 years ago, I found this very chair on top of the Point Loma building before we owned it. I will go up on top of the roof, sit in this chair, and pray over the city. This chair is a reminder of those prayers from 20 years ago and the calling that God put on our church to serve San Diego. Now, because of those prayers and God's faithfulness, we were able to purchase and shut down for good one of the most long-standing and iconic strip clubs in San Diego. Now it's time to transform it into a transitional living center, which women who have been survivors of trafficking and sex exploitation can receive hope, living skills, and pastoral support. Through the help of investors and donors, we were able to acquire the building and begin drawing up plans for what is called the Freedom Center. The Freedom Center will serve female survivors of human trafficking who are at least 18 years old. It will include counseling rooms, bedrooms, a kitchen, a laundry room, and more, and it will be able to house up to 120 women per year. We may look around this building and see broken glass, an old structure, and crumbling walls, but this building is not condemned to be torn down. It is to be renovated and repurposed in the same way our brokenness, and we all have brokenness, is not beyond Jesus' desire and ability to restore. We serve a Jesus who was radical in the way he forgave, restored, and loved broken people. We believe that no area of town, no physical space, and no person is beyond the redemptive capacity of God's love. We get to partner with him as agents of transformation in our broken world. Please consider partnering with us and God bless you.